All right, I'm back. This is Joe Silver with Homeschooling Daddies, and here to give you a view of our math curriculum for the 2014-2015 school year. And well, our major um, curriculum that we're going to be using is Saxon, and this is going to be our first time with it since this is our first time homeschooling. And so we've heard a lot of good things and a lot of bad things about this, but since we've heard more good than negative, we decided to give it a try. Um, so we. Uh, went ahead and found this one at a local education store near our home and they were going out of business and so this is originally a uh, $115 um, set has everything included and we ended up getting it for $65 so it's not a bad deal um, but this is all brand new and it comes with a uh, home study meeting book and then it comes with a series of various workbooks um, for the school year so part one part two and then not sure what the middle one is it looks like graph paper or something maybe but then this big thing here look at that is the actual um, teacher's manual so it looks pretty, I mean, we haven't opened up the workbooks, but from looking through this, it's not like what you see in the Singapore mass. It's just, it's pretty basic and to the point. There's no little cute little drawings of animals or anything. It's just to the point uh, with basic math. So it's going to be interesting to see how our son reacts to it because it is, you know, pretty grown up. Um, compared to what he's used to but to offset that we do have other other um, little fun things we're going to be doing with him you know just to make math fun like we found this to help him learn how to tell time I believe we got this at the dollar store and it basically helps tell time and then we also got a poster um, not sure where it's at right now but we got a poster um, that tells um, that gives like a breakdown of the clock in more detail and then we found this at I believe Goodwill it's um, building on tents and then right here this I got at Goodwill again it's a uh, math puzzle and games to make it fun for him so graphs has little stickers and everything so it's like basic math but it has that cutesy effect and then right here we found this book at Goodwill also where it's eating fraction, where it talks, talks about fraction, but with food, of course. And then we found a whole bunch of flashcards, like right here. We have fractions, addition. Uh, addition, I think we got a dollar store. Uh, fraction, I think I got at a thrift store. Um, division, again, I think that's dollar store. Multiplication, dollar store. Um, subtraction dollar store and then this one uh, with money I believe I got that at Walmart and then this one here let's go back here um, time match puzzle I got this at uh, I believe it's a Christian bookstore uh, for a buck fifty which isn't bad and then uh, I found this next one and since um, our family likes to travel a lot to foreign countries and in every other foreign country their um, measurement style is different than ours of course because they use the metric system so I found these cards um, also at the same Christian bookstore um, they're pretty old okay. check this out from 1977 and for some strange reason I actually remember using these as a kid in grade school when they're like trying to teach us um, the metric system so which I have no clue I don't remember so actually not only will it be a learning experience for our son but it would definitely be a learning experience for us so um but that's it. That's our math curriculum for the 2014-2015 school year. And uh, we'll be checking in throughout the school year to let you know how everything's working out. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.